Let's see how to add an existing project to Git and then push it to GitHub. Here we have a React project generated with Create React App. It hasn't been checked into any version control system. The simplest way to add version control is by going to the VCS menu and selecting Enable Version Control Integration. Now we need to choose between Git, Mercurial, and Subversion. Selecting one of these, in our case Git, turns on VCS support for the project so we can start checking versions in and out. We can see that support has been added as the Git tool window is now available for this project. Starting from version 2020.1, you may also see a dedicated tool window for making commits. If you're using the non-modal UI for making commits like I'm doing here, all unversioned files and other local changes will be shown under the commit tool window. With our previous UI for making commits, both the commit interface and the Git tool window will look a little bit different for you, with local changes displayed under the Git tool window. Getting back to our unversioned files, now you can select which files you want to add to Git. If you're only interested in files from a specific directory, you may want to use the group by directory functionality and then select the folders with the files you want to commit. To add the files to Git, you can drag them into the default change list or right click and select the corresponding action from the context menu of a specific item. Now that we've added all the desired files to Git, we need to commit them to save the current state. I already have the commit tool window open, so I'll go ahead and make my first commit from there. If you don't have the commit tool window and you're using the modal commit dialog instead, you can open it by clicking this green checkmark button in the top right hand corner of the IDE. Let's add our commit message. Before making a commit, we can also choose to apply some pre-commit checks like reformatting our code. If we wanted to, we could also view the diff between the file we're checking in and the original. In this case, our files are all new, so they are shown in green and there's no original to compare them to. Once we commit our changes, we'll get a pop-up message confirming that our commit was successful. We still have some unversioned files shown under local changes. We don't plan to commit them at all, so let's add them to git ignore so that both the IDE and git ignore them. Once we do it, the affected file or folder will disappear from the list of unversioned files. In addition to helping you save different versions of our project files, a distributed version control system also lets us share projects and collaborate on them. Let's add our project to GitHub. One of the ways to do this is to look for share project on GitHub using Search Everywhere. If you haven't logged into GitHub yet, you can do it right from this dialog using credentials or a token. Next, we can change the repository name, add a description, or do some other things, such as make it private if needed, before clicking share. The IDE will let you know when the repository has been shared. Let's click the link in the pop-up to open the repo in the browser. That's it for adding projects to Git and GitHub. For more information, check out the version control section of our documentation.